and also things such as effective length factors and environment as well. I'm just going to uh, keep them as default, it's accept. We can also create some uh, snow bearing pressures and displacements, that's fine, we can accept. And now we, now we are at um, uh, the, uh, the initial uh, work environment. So you can see here um, the, uh, the different uh, pages that, I've, uh, that are present here. I have the column definition page, I have the beam definition page, I have my results after I've analyzed it, and then uh, I can look at the contour maps, the form shapes, and also some health and safety factors as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna create a little, um, uh, um, a little basic project where we can look at uh, the different ways of uh, modeling the project. Um, so let's get started. Um, now we've selected the code we want to use. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna to go to introduction, I'm gonna to go to floors and groups, and I'm gonna create my floors. I'm gonna select it single. I'm gonna select two floors with a height of three meters each. I can also introduce some live loads and dead loads here as well. So three, three, just, an, uh, just as an example, and I can accept that change. Now, at this point we have the structure uh, of the floors, but we don't have the template. So what I can do now is uh, create um, uh, some templates. So let's go to introduction. Um, let's go to, oh, sorry, let's go to this button here. So this is edit templates, where I can uh, bring up my templates view manager. Now the templates view manager, what it allows us to do um, is bring in uh, DWG and DXF files, of course, and uh, bring those in to the, uh, the specific floor groups um, as well. So I'm gonna, select this. I'm gonna bring in this one uh, offices template that I have. Um, and you can see that that's been um, uh, introduced. Now, there are some, there are different uh, editing functions with the, with the templates I can use. So I can select the visible area of the template and change that. I can change different scales and rotation as well. The visible areas as well. So I can uh, have a look and just change the visible area of the template. I can also uh, assign different group views. So as you can see here, um, my different groups, as you can see, my foundation, floor one, floor two, and my column definition, I can just select all of them uh, for the sake of this demonstration to that, one, uh, to, that one, uh, to that one drawing. I can also look at different layers as well um, and things such as that nature as well. So let's accept the changes here. And as you can see now, the template is, uh, has been um, inserted here. Now, of course, we can also uh, define different templates to different sections of the building as well. Uh, and that's another functionality here we have as well. Now, uh, we can start off by uh, adding a new column. So let's do that uh, by this button here, new column. And here we have um, our uh, new column views template. So. I can reference uh, the different column. I'm able to choose the initial group and last group. We're gonna keep it as that. I can define uh, the different fixities and also the angle as well. So there are some effective lengths. We can define fixity coefficients, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, what I'm going to do is just have a look at the different columns that we can use. So here you can see the different materials. So uh, steel, um, timber, um, composite sections, and also the generic sections as well. I can also define uh, the shape as well, and I can go into specific uh, sections and create my own shape uh, as well. So we're gonna stick to uh, a typical structure. I'm gonna keep it as 30 and let's say uh, 45, and let's accept those changes. Now you can see as well, the, uh, the, 2D, the 2D view is able to give me uh, a, 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 a section view of the, of the of the column and also the, the floors that the column exists in as well. So let's accept those changes. And uh, now I'm ready to add my columns. So what I want to do now is head over to my template object snaps. So what this basically does is uh, gives me the option, uh, gives me actually various options um, of how I want my cursor to interact with the template. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of them. Uh, except the nearest option. Now I'm able to insert my columns uh, in various locations. As easy as this. 
So I'm using my left button to insert columns here. Now, of course, I'll be able to edit these columns at a later date, at a later time, sorry. As well, as you can see, those columns have been introduced. I can right click to select uh, to um, define those. And now uh, I have the option to uh, move and edit the, uh, the columns as well here. So we can go to introduction, we can go to columns, and you can see all here, the different options I have to define uh, the positioning here. So I can adjust. See, I can adjust it to the corner. As such. Now, um, once that's done, we can of course copy and uh, define different uh, external fixities and uh, horizontal loads, head loads as well um, that we can uh, define here. Now, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to uh, continue on so we can look at some analysis. I want to uh, get into the analysis section as well. Um, uh, we also have the possibility to change different uh, column types. So if we had specific columns that we wanted to change, I'd have a head over to edit. And I also am able to edit the column uh, individually as well. Now, um, as you can see, I've moved the columns to the appropriate, appropriate positions and adjusted uh, the positioning. Um, now you can see uh, we can move on to our, our beam definitions. So after we've defined the column, now of course this is a very um, uh, uh, this is a very uh, simple structure that I've defined, um, but well, let's move on to our beam definition.